Welcome to our Budapest apartment. Come into the foyer. And then we got the kitchen. That's just the toilet, you don't need to see that. We have the lovely bathroom over here. Pretty cool. I love this vanity. I'm gonna take you into the grand room. This is where we spend majority of our time. Say hello, Nick. That's just the living room. This is where Nick has been setting up shop work in majority of the days. And we just get to hang out. Pretty big apartment. Ceilings are really tall, about like 15 feet. And then we get to go into the bedroom where you have my office over here. Hello, people. Hey, Nick, you want to show them how to open the windows? Oh, where'd you go? Hello? Husband? You want to show them how to open the windows? All right, and then what do we say at night time when I ask you to close up shop? Well, we gotta close up shop, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, here in Budapest, all apartments have these like, we've just been calling them like purge curtains, but they're like essentially like house doors have them but they're great they're great to like black out the light while we're sleeping so that's it yeah. the grand budapest apartment how do you feel it's good i like the place it's really nice and big Hey everybody, today we're gonna be on a boat dinner thing. We're going on a little date night tonight. I was like, there's no dinner. There is a dinner. No. We get a drink. There's no food. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I, I would have gotten more pizza before this. I thought there was No, there's no food. It's just a bar. Okay, well, I guess we're going on a boat and we're drinking. <laughs> um, but should be a good time. We'll take you along for the ride. We can get food later after. I certainly hope so. <laughs> You're someone's hungry. Yes. So we got here an hour early. Um, <laughs> I wanted to be on time. I wanted to make sure that we didn't miss any of the fantastic food that's not a thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, I told you we were going to be early. I know. This is literally like what you do when we go to the airport and like you are the type of person that needs to be at the gate two hours ahead of time. I do. To know where the gate is. I have to make sure it exists. Even though it's on the ticket. I and know. I'm like, I just want to be there 30 minutes before I need a board. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, so we were talking about the rest of our travel plans, where we want to go, and we have a, about a month gap in the spring mm -hmm. uh, coming from Spain to question mark to the next place. Mm -hmm. We might go back to Poland, we might stay in Spain. What do you, what do you want to do? Well, I'm saying like there are a couple options, right? We could do another city in Spain. Okay. We could go to Portugal. Okay. Um, it, colder weather wise like we could go to munich we could go to vienna so we've got a lot of options we're just sort of weighing them right now yeah. so yeah help us decide throw your comments in the in the thing below and uh, we will try to get to them yeah. when we can are yeah. you gonna let them vote where we go next yeah all right where do you want us to go next okay the spring <laughs> nick's let giving us, you all let that us know down below <laughs>
It's big. It's big? It's big. After the trip down the river and back, Nick was hungry, so we headed over to a restaurant called Demario. Nick ended up getting some squid ink spaghetti with octopus, and I got the mushroom risotto, and of course, we saved room for dessert, too. So this is what it's like to come to our apartment home at night. Um, basically, we live on Bourbon Street here in Budapest. So welcome to me walking through crowds of people just to get to our doorstep. Come on. It's not even that bad tonight. So on our doorstep, look. Knock people off our doorstep every day. So, to continue on traditions with our traveling adventures, we're gonna get tattoos while here in Budapest. Big shocker. Nick, how are you feeling? I'm very nervous, per usual. Now, I wanna, I wanna put out a disclaimer, this is not turning into a tattoo channel. We're just getting tattoos in everywhere that we stay, so. Yeah, but tell the people how you actually feel about tattoos. <laughs> I mean, they hurt. I'm not a fan. I get so ner I'm nervous right now. We're like 10 minutes away from the shop. I'm so I just have to go first. I'm so nervous. Nick's like, can I please go first? Can I please go first? He always has to go first. And I'm like, sure. Yeah. That's fine. So guess you'll you'll see this big we'll see old the baby. Results when we're done. In a moment. How do you feel? Right now? Mm hmm Nervous. Why are you nervous? Because this is gonna, this is gonna, it's gonna hurt. Do you like the noise you hear in the background? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mm. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. Fine? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I can't go first. You're making yourself go first. So I'm just gonna be sitting here for a couple hours. Maybe I'll take a nap. That's how fine you're feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna fall asleep during it. It's gonna be real relaxing for me. Great. <laughs> the final result of our tattoos hit us up on instagram at nick.and.anna thanks for following along this week we'd love it if you'd hit that like button and subscribe as well we'll see you next time